hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel i'm jasmine nicole so today's video is going to be all about my house buying process all the ups and downs and um everything i went through and at the end i'll give you like little tips that i did um to help myself so this video was requested by one of my new subbies so hey new subbie and i also want to give a um huge shout out to at all of my new subbies because like y'all just showed up and showed out i did not expect to get that many views from my my little house tour but i'm super duper blessed and super duper excited to have you all so yeah and then on this journey to furnishing my house so that's gonna be pretty much fun and a task itself so just welcome to my channel and also if you like have any requests or have any further questions you can just drop them down in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer them so without further ado let's get started into the video okay first i haven't this is like my first time actually sitting down and recording in this new house and it feels really really good i'm super duper excited um but yeah and if you see me looking down i do have my notes right here so i can have all the facts okay so yeah so let's get started so I've actually I started this process well I've been wanting to purchase a home for about three years now so this dream of like buying a home like it's like a three-year-old dream so back in 2017 I was um you know living in an apartment life and I had my daughter and also like I believe it was like June or July I actually moved out of that apartment I had just graduated from college and I had moved out of that apartment and I ended up moving back in with my parents. I was in a um like in a relationship at the time and it, it just was not working out. And then the job that I had at that time, I just could not afford to, you know, purchase a home and then just live by myself. So I just decided to I made the executive decision to go move back with my parents. And so that's what Mackenzie and I did for about two and a half years, three years. You ask my mom, she told me so it's like five years, girl. Just over exaggerating. It was not five years. <laughs> but yeah, it was like like over two years that I had been um staying with my parents and I just told myself that I was not going back into an apartment because I'm an introvert and I like to be secluded and by myself. I don't like to hear like different noise. Of course when you're in a house you have neighbors as well, but they're not so close together to where you can literally hear them sneeze, you can hear them going up and down the stairs, you can hear them upstairs like running. It's just it was just too much. And then you don't have to worry about like them like smoking and you can smell it and it was just too much. So I just told myself I am not going back into an apartment. I need to figure out a way for me to get a house. So that had always been in my mind, but I knew that I had to get like a better paying job if I wanted to do anything. So for that year, um, for the like for the remaining of 2017 to like almost the end of 2018, well, no, for the remain of 2017 to like the beginning of 2018, I just focused on like getting a better paying job and getting my finances in order. So. Here's when the um, house buying process actually started. It started back in 2018. It actually started in November of 2018. So when you're buying a house, of course, you know, credit is very, very, very important. And I knew my credit was not in a place for where I'll be able to purchase a home. So and then it's like a misconception that you that you have to have like the perfect credit score or anything you do not by any means have to have like a perfect credit score but um my credit score just was nowhere near where I wanted it to be or where it could be to get a house so I knew I had to focus on it so when I knew I wanted to get a house of course Instagram is like the like the go-to for resources so I ran across um my realtor um her name is well she's the credit score queen so she's very very popular out here in louisiana and i think she's like she helps people all over she, like she's the goat for real so she's um her business is the credit score queen so what she does she helps you from credit to closing literally from fixing your credit to the closing table right so she helped me with that. I reached out to her, scheduled my appointment, and we did like a credit audit. And she looked at all my credit report. 
I mean, credit things that was on my credit report. And then we set up, um, she will set up like a plan for you to, like, for you to establish and to go by. But you have to, like, follow that religiously. You can't just start out good and then just be like, oh, whatever. But you have to, like, she's going to give you the plan. But, like, you, she can't make you follow the plan. So you have to be determined in yourself to follow that particular plan. So she gave me a, um, a plan, a financial plan for me to, I had to open two credit cards. And with those two credit cards, they were secured credit cards. So I opened two secured credit cards and then the balances on, on those, I had to keep it below five, five um, percent. So with me personally, I would like spend like money on it. And honestly, I would go over like five percent, but then by the statement date and by the due date, I would make sure that it was down like to five percent so i would like spend use the money on a card but i'll also make sure that it is paid off by my due date and then by my statement date honestly i think like the statement date is more important than the payment date i could be wrong but i don't know that's what i did so i just made sure that my account was five percent or below by the statement date and that helped me a lot so i had to do that for like six months so the plan i was on with her I'm not sure if all of her plans are six months, but I believe so. So she gives you like a six month plan. And so I followed those rules that she gave me for six months. And then with those, you'll be receiving letters. Like when she's doing the credit repair part, you'll be receiving letters from different companies that's on your credit report. And then I would have to just send it, send those letters over to her. And then things would just stop falling off. And yeah, so I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend um, Terica, the credit scores queen um, from credit um, repair and also for like house, house buying and I'll talk about my process with her on that a little bit later. So yeah, I knew I had to get my credit right so that was my first steps. Um, let's see. Okay, so after those six months, so I started in November, so my six months were up, I want to say like June or July 2019. Yeah, I want to say it was up like June, July 2019. And so when that's up, then you move over to the actual house buying process. So that, um, that I had to wait until the following year, which was this year, because my W-2, of course, when you're buying a W-2, you have to have two your most two recent W-2s. And so my 2017, yeah, my 2017, um, my 2017 W-2 was not like up to par because I had been working at a job that wasn't paying too much. So of course that would have knocked my, um, like my income off and I wouldn't be, be able to get like a, you know, a type of house that I wanted. So I had to wait for the following year for I was on my job for at least, um, my current job for at least two years so I can use that W-2. So that's why I have to wait. So after the six months was over, I still have to wait like a, some more months because I had um, squished jobs and you have to have be on your job for at least two years. So, um, okay, so fast forward to December, December, 2019. So Mackenzie, you bumping my thing. So December 2019, um, Terika, she got me connected with um, financial, I mean, what it is, what is it called? A loan officer. So she got me connected with a loan officer. Um, I forget her name. And I remember because it was actually on my birthday and I was in New Orleans celebrating my birthday with my cousins. And I got so excited because she had started like a group message with um with me with myself her and the loan officer and i just thought to myself like oh my gosh like the process is finally starting i'm really about to be a homeowner and so i just got super duper excited and so um and yeah it was on my birthday it was like um i want to say like seven or eight at night and i just got super duper excited but it was on the weekend and like the loan officer hadn't contacted me so i just thought okay it's the weekend like whatever um, I'll just wait for her to contact me the following week. So the following week, I didn't, um, like that Monday, I didn't, like she didn't reach out to me or anything. 
So I ended up reaching out to her like, hey, like, do you need anything from me? Like my social security number to run my credit or whatever. And she was like, oh, yeah. So she like, oh, yeah, just send it over. So she sent me like an email for something to fill out an application for me to start that process. So with loan officers, you do have to um, like those are like the money people. They are going to make sure all your finances and everything is together for you to get your house. So she um she sent me over an application um via email and i filled it out and then she said that um like my credit basically wasn't at where it needed to be i think it was like maybe 10 points off or something but she said that she can do like a rapid rescore so she said that she would be able to do a rapid rescore um if i would take these on um, pay off two companies that were still on my credit report so i'm just like oh okay and of course throughout this whole time i'm trying to save and like save little here save little there because i know i have to bring something to the table like i know i have to pay a down payment and i know i have to pay a deposit and closing costs i know i have to pay this so of course like from 2000 um 9 2018 2019 I'm, i started saving money um and i wouldn't i would recommend saving way ahead of time so if you know that you want to start buying you know you want to buy a house one or two years from now please 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 start saving now start saving now. i don't care if it's two dollars i don't care if it's twenty dollars here just save because um closing costs deposits all of that can like down payments all of that adds up and it adds up really really quickly so save 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 so she said that if i pay those off then she can do a rapid rescore and just rescore it um, you can look that up. I'm not sure like what a rapid rescore is, but and then also those were still on my credit because they didn't with um, with the credit score with Terica because they didn't affect my house buying process per se. So they didn't stop me from getting a house. So that's why they like sh we didn't really focus on that. So so my officers said well if you pay those off then we can do a rapid rescore basically my score will jump up and then they, she can use that and so i said okay cool so i paid those like i want to say like one of like the next week so the next week a week and a half i had paid those off and they was like it was like a healthy amount of money and then the thing is like when you have these loan officers and they tell you to pay something off it's like kind of um it's kind of like you damn it if you do damn it if you don't because if you pay it like if you don't have the money ready um you have to go like get a loan so but if you get a loan then of course the person is going to check your credit so that's going to make your credit go down where you're just going to pay for it to go up so it just doesn't make sense then on the flip side if you have the money saved and you go pay all that stuff out you're not going to have the money anymore but you're going to have the score so it's kind of like like what do i do so you're gonna have like a lot of moments of that throughout the house buying process of different things that's gonna affect like that's gonna affect it and you just have to sit down and just weigh out your options so fortunately i was able to pay it off and i called her i mean i emailed her and told her hey it's paid off and um she she just said well okay well we have to wait for them to update it or whatever and so um like she really didn't like respond like she really didn't like respond to any of my messages or like she really wasn't engaged with me as i would like her to be so and then also um my realtor she also like terica she also noticed that too so she got me connected with another loan officer now this loan officer she's amazing her name is sierra sierra foster i believe so, well, yeah, it is it's Sierra Foster on Instagram. And she also has a YouTube channel here. And I'll link that down below. But she, I think it's Sierra Long Officer on YouTube. And she is literally amazing. And I would just say, like, throughout my whole process, I'm just so grateful that I had two women that were, um, that were amazing in their respective fields. And they knew what they were talking about because they had been doing this for a while. And they were just, like, I really looked up to them because they were just black women and just know what they're talking about and it's really like some boss women and i love that so sierra i um 
Terica, she gave me the information for her. So I ended up doing a application for, um, I want to say like a 30 days after I had paid off my, like the two things that the first loan officer told me to pay off. So about 30 days after that, I ended up contacting um, the new loan officer that Terica got me in contact with. Well, she gave me the, her information and I honestly just went on her website. Like I didn't call her up or anything and say, hey, what I do? I went on her website, did, I, did the application because at this point I'm just like, I'm over it. And mind you, this is like January. No, this is like March of this year when all this Corona stuff is going on. So I, my whole house, Brian, uh, my whole house buying process was in the middle of COVID. So that's a whole more, like other thing, and I'll get into that too. So, um, so I did the application. The application I actually did on um, March fifth. So I submitted the application on March fifth. And by that time, I had like checked my credit reports and made sure all the companies had updated that I had just paid off. So by this time, my credit like had jumped up. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Like I don't have time to be like no questions. Like questions asked. Let me just do the application. So I did the application, and um, when you do the application for the loan officers, that's when everything like the bowl, the ball gets to rolling because they're gonna ask for bank statements. They're going to ask for um, check stubs. They're, they're going to ask for, um, what else? Oh, your job history, your proof of um, income. And what else do they ask for? I think that's about. Well, they ask for a whole bunch of stuff. And so I got all of that submitted to her. And then she, um, on March 13th, the application was marked completed. Um, and also on March 13th, I got a pre-approval. So the pre-approval is what you want before you even go looking for a home, right? So I got the pre-approval on the 13th and I'm not sure what day I went looking for the, looking for the house. I'm not sure, but anyway, the pre-approval. Okay. So your pre your pre-approval is basically the loan officer or the mortgage company or whoever that's going to finance your house for you is basically telling you that you are pre-approved for this certain amount and so that's like gold in the um the real estate community because when you go look for a house and they they're going to ask oh do you have your pre-approval or whatever so once you have your pre-approval they're like the the house sellers or the builders, they're going to take you seriously because they know that you're just not looking willy nilly. They know that you actually put in work and went took some steps to actually go get like a pre-approval. So I got the pre-approval on the 13th. Um, so I'm not sure. I think it was like on the 15th or something. I don't know that I went look for a house. So I went looking for my house and, um, I knew I wanted to be on the outskirts. I didn't want to be like in the like in the city city. But so I knew I want I knew where I knew I wanted to be on outskirts, but I didn't particularly know where I wanted to be. So and honestly with my job I stay um I work from home so I can literally work anywhere in the United States. I mean work anywhere as long as it's in the United States. So um, like I could literally go anywhere. So it wasn't like I had to be close to a certain like job or whatever. So my main thing was, next thing was a school district. So I wanted to get like the best school district because I do have a five year old daughter, Mackenzie. So my real estate, she helped me with that. She's like, well, this, um, this particular community has a great, um, great school district. And they also give you a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm like, okay, cool. Because you know i'm a single mom so i'm just working off my single income so i can't be like you know i can't be like you know expensive 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 house but yeah she just got me the most bang for my buck okay so yes wait what where am i going with this <laughs> i get sidetracked there i'm sorry y'all um okay so i went um searching for the house well i first after I got my pre-approval, Terika, she texted me. She said, we got the, well, 
because when you're in a process you're going to get emails from everyone so everyone's going to be connected to the emails together so of course she got the pre-approval email as well so she texted me saying hey and then she we talked a little bit and she said well this district and then i started to look for houses in the place in the um parish i'm in now and so i sent her some new existing homes and then i she um so i ended up sending her like the houses that i was looking at in the neighbor like in the area and then um i basically sent them to her and then she basically um did her magic and made sure